Hello students. Today we are going to discuss important topic regarding stomata that is cytomatal index. What does cytomatal index means? Each cytomata has a small pore known as cytomatal pore or cytomatal aperture. If this is the cytomatal aperture or cytomatal pore, this cytomatal aperture or cytomatal pore is surrounded by two special types of epidermal cells that is known as God cells. These God cells, as I have already mentioned in the previous lecture, are bean shaped or kidney shaped in case of dicots and they are dumbbell shaped in case of monocots. They also have some unique features which are not present in other epidermal cells, that is, they are surrounded by chloro, they are surrounded by special types of epidermal cells known as subsidiary cells. These are subsidiary cells and these subsidiary cells in turn will be surrounded by other epidermal cells. All these cells that is the guard cells, the subsidiary cells and the other cells of the epidermis. This whole structure is actually epidermal in nature. Epidermal in nature, that means it is present in epidermis. If you will see this cytomata under a microscope, you will see that there will be a different number of cytomata per unit area of this leaf surface, per unit area of leaf surface you will see that there is a definite number of cytomata and in in under the microscope you will also observe that each cytomata each cytomata that is each yes a pair of god cells each pair of god cells is surrounded by a definite number of epidermal cells definite number of epidermal cells each cytomatal apparatus, that is two god cells, cytomatal pore and the subsidiary cells, they are surrounded by the definite number of epidermal cells per unit area and that character is specific for a particular species. That that is known as cytomatal index, that is I, it is a formula of cytomatal index. I is stomatal index is equal to S divided by E plus S into 100. This is the formula for stomatal index. I here represents stomatal index, S number of stomata, E number of epidermal cells surrounding the surrounding the stomata, and this S is stomata, so number of stomata multiplied by 100. And this gives you the cytomatal index that is number of cytomata surrounded by different number of epi epidermal cells which is particular for a particular species per unit area per unit area unit area gives us the cytomatal index it is defined as as such that the number of number of epidermal cells surrounding the cytomata per unit area and the formula for obtaining the cytomatal index is I is equal to S divided by E plus S into 100. I is cytomatal index S number of cytomata E that is epidermal cells plus S that is number of cytomata. This gives you that cytomatal index. Hope you will understand it and I am going to deliver another lecture which is also related to stomata in the coming video. Thank you.